is the first national glider contest that's ever been held in this country. These gentlemen you see here are well-known soaring and gliding pilots. Uh, now over the city of Elmira and on this ridge, these planes stay up for hours and they land to the mark and they make distance flights and also make a number of flights per day. Also, flights right. are being made for altitude. The highest uh, altitude that has been attained so far at this meet is 3,000 feet. It's also interesting to know this. All these gliders, or soarers, are launched into the air by means of a rubber rope. They don't have any motors at all. The control system is exactly the same as in any airplane. And the pilot keeps the glider and the soarer up in the air by means of the currents of air which are deflected upward by the hill. Run! You can now see a formation of five gliders. They hold their position almost exactly the same as if they were had uh, motors in them. They can talk to one another. Remember, there's no sound up there because there's no motor. All right, Ready? take it away. Whoop! Run! Let it go. The boys just did a 180 degree turn right in formation and they're coming back headed towards the hill again, flying a beautiful formation. Six ships right now are hovering over the hill. <whistles> Possibly you can hear them over the microphone talking to one another. Certainly seems strange to see them flying around 
with no noise of motors. You know, one of the nice things about these gliders are that they make no noise at all. I think that every pilot ought to have one because then when he wants to get in the backyard at night without his wife knowing it, he can come down and land and uh, she won't know that he's coming in at all. You're now looking at about four gliders flying in formation. Remember that these gliders are dependent for their suspension into the air by the air currents alone. They have no motor. And the very fact that those boys can fly that formation that you're looking at uh, testifies well to the stability and the controllability of those machines. now getting into another formation. Uh, several of them have little hot calls and horns of different kinds. Uh, I suppose they do that so that to regulate the traffic. This gliders that you see coming into land is Jack O'Mara. See how rough it is coming in up this hill into the wind? There he is, right into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> 